Kozabari. Kozabari is the only member of the family Kozadi and belong to the order of Kuziforms, which also includes the emu. The three species, counted by some experts as six, each with several races, live in habitats that span parts of Australia and New Zealand. Uh, Kozabari has been known to kill human beings with slashing blows of its feet, as the innermost of the three toes bear a long, dagger-like nail. The bird has been observed moving rapidly along the narrow tracks in bushes and sprinting as fast as 50 km, 31 miles per hour. Ostrich Ostriches are flightless birds found only in open in Africa. The largest living birds, an adult male may be 2.75 meters, about 9 feet tall, almost half of the height being the neck, and weighs more than 150 kilograms or 330 pounds. Ostriches are seed individual in pairs, in small flocks or in large aggregations depending on the season. Ostrich relies on its strong legs, uniquely two toes with a main toe developed almost as food to escape its enemies, chiefly humans and larger carnivores. Emo The common emo, the only survivor of several forms experimented by settlers, its short-bodied and long-legged like relative of Kozavari, Emus can dash away at nearly 50 km or 30 miles per hour. If cornered, they kick with their three foot toed feet like Kuzavaris and ostriches. The toed claws of emus are capable of excavating animals under the right conditions. However, human fatalities are extremely rare. Reporters of emu attacks resulting in range of injuries in Australia and in wild animal parks. Emu farms in zoos across the world are not common, more than 100 alone in 2009. Lamagires Lamagires, which are also called as beard vultures, are eagle like vultures of the old world. These birds often reach lengths of more than 1 meter. 40 inches with a wing spread of nearly 3 meters. They inhabit in mountainous regions from Central Asia and Eastern Africa to Spain and wine and carrion, especially bones which they drop from heights as great as 80 meters or at mean 260 feet onto the flat rocks below. This cracks the open victim of bones and allows the birds to access the marrow. Friends, meet you tomorrow with a new talk. Bye!